Hey everyone, uh, I thought I'd do another video for those who think I sound a little funny. That's true. I got a cold. Don't worry, I test it and I've been vaccinated so I'm not going to infect your computer with COVID. You are going to have a virus-free video. It's just a cold. Anyway, i um, been getting a lot of questions about the cargo hold, the extension and the sizes and I thought I'd just explain this so that people who don't know the entire history of all these projects uh, understand where this is coming from why the choices why the different sizes so basically what you're looking at here is the entire uh thing including all the options so that is the original cargo hold which is this part the extension, which is this part, and then the DX part, which is this part, and then the sleep bunk, which is another optional extra. And as you can see, you can move this stuff around uh, in your setup a bit, depending on the space you have, the parts you have, and the, uh, the space you need. So uh the, the especially when it comes to the width that is variable depending on how accurate you want to get how much space you have so let me let me explain the history a little bit so the first product we did with the cargo hold was this one remember the um this is the the, the prototype the picture here is a bit crooked but it was made to what we called the, the true scale design back then. So it was made to fit in either an Ikea Stuva or an Ikea Besta. And we have limited space and it's made to a budget. So um, we had the, uh, let's see if I have another shot for you. Uh, yeah, like this. So you had the floor that was uh, in two parts. So for the Besta, you could leave out this, this part so that it would fit into a Besta. If you had a Stuva, you could add this part so that would fit. And on this side, there was a print to suggest the rest of the cargo hold. And then for the sleep bunk, that was a part that fit on top of the bench seat. And that way it fit both into the budget and into the Ikea spaces. Now we're talking, I don't know, three, four years ago, back when we were very strict about this. And so people started requesting the expansion. So first they were just talking about everything in square two. So uh, that came with the Navi computer and then there's a, there's a seat here so that, that what Han Solo where he sits, you know. So we, we put out part one and as you can see in this picture it was the undeep version of the sleep bunk uh, so this is basically let me get you the measurements so this was 46 total uh, 45 46 maximum and then this is 56 maximum right and so the extension was going to just be the the flip side of that with uh, a wall that would connect here and we would do something with the ring so that you wouldn't see the seam and then you would have the the navi computer this side of the diorama the seat for han to sit right so that was that's the basic expansion kit for the cargo hold then people said well i i really want everything so can't you just make this and so we made a dx version so that either you could buy assuming you still had the, the the basic cargo hold you could either buy the extension which would get you square two to put next to your square one the standard cargo hold or you could buy the dx extension and it's it's described pretty well in the text of the products which would get you everything in square two plus the dx square right here right um then of course, because this most of these conversations go on in our closed Facebook group. So the people watching this on other f uh, Facebook groups uh, or YouTube, go to Jazz Inc, uh, Di Star Wars Dioramas, the Facebook group, and you can join the conversation, give feedback on our products, uh, s suggest ideas, uh, help make choices for which products to do next. Uh, highly recommended. Anyway, so then came the question to do the Jago bunk. So let me get a picture of that as well. This is a separate product 
that was not calculated in the um, in in either the 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 standard expansion or the the DX expansion. This is something that came later. People requested it, and I said no for a long time because a I thought it might be confusing, and b it's going to be such low numbers, so many uh, so it's only so many people who want this that I was afraid it's going to be very expensive. Turns out it is it is relatively expensive because it's extremely limited edition. It's only going to be made a couple of dozen worldwide. So, but it's a quite a big product if you see old Han in front of it or, uh, yeah. So let me give you a, 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 a shot up front. You can see that it is well above 12 inches. And then there's the, the side, uh, which also adds quite a bit of, bit of depth. Um, so now it comes down to if you want everything you see in this picture, so that is the standard cargo hold, the extension part here, plus the DX extension part, plus the Jago bunk, that's what you have to order. That's, those are, so it's, it's either, so it's the cargo hold and then the DX extension, which gives you this plus this bit, uh, give you the top view. That might be easier. So. Again, the standard cargo hold is this, then the standard uh, expansion pack for the cargo hold is this piece. If you get the DX expansion, that is this. Forget the, the old floor design, by the way. I, I've updated that and it's better now and it stops at the end here. Uh, and then if you want to add the Dago bunk, you have to buy that uh, as a separate product as well. Then you get all this. and. For those who really want to know the que the answer to the question, uh, will the both expansion kits have the entire back wall? So the big ass back wall. I'm still working on that. Where the prices are fluctuating and, and rocketing up so fast for the suppliers with all the trouble um, with the energy trouble they have uh, and uh, and the COVID trouble that I, I just don't know yet. Bear with me. I'm really doing my best. I really want this, but I cannot be sure. So you can see the, the chair. If you get the DX, you also get these cool parts um, uh, and the Diggle Bunk. So then the question becomes, what are the measurements? So if you don't get the Diggle Bunk, then it's uh, the, the measurements I put up on screen here. Um, so that's uh, around uh, twice, two times 56, so 44 inches wide. You can probably slide this in a bit more. So around, uh, 42 inches wide minimum, uh, and 18 inches deep minimum, but you can slide it back because as you can see, the wall goes back a bit. So if you have the space, you can move these backwards, move that one backwards. And then if you add the dig, as you can see, it's a beast of a product compared to the bench. Right? So that's why it wasn't included because it would have almost doubled the price of the initial cargo hold. Right? And then same for this, you can move this forward. If you have only up until a bench, then the width is like I said, uh, around 42 to 44 inches wide. If you want the total setup, then, um, depending on which version of the cargo hold in, in, in the movie, you, you move these bits. Um, you have to move them around a bit depending on which movie, but let's just do it as you see it in empire, which is my reference usually. Cause I love that movie. Um, let's move this back. So now it comes down to what is the maximum? I think it ends here. Um, and again, the floor has been updated so that it's the correct layout for empire and that it ends here. Right. So it's, it's going to be, uh, it'll fit exactly. And so from the widest point to the widest point, if you want to go that way, you would need a display space of 157 centimeters, right? So, uh, from, from, from back to back, but that's, that'll leave some quite ugly holes that you will have to fix. So I would suggest moving it a bit more inward like this and like this, and then you'd be dealing with 134, 135 centimeters. So I hope this helps and hope to catch you uh, next time.